Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're checking out something called Amazing Pulsinathon. This is a physics-powered axe-throwing game made by developer Datocroy as a friend and supporter of the channel and I got a chance to try this uh, pretty early in development and this is actually the release candidate version which is just being sent off to iOS and as of the date of this recording uh, and possibly the date of this being posted also won't be available for consumption yet but the game should be available shortly afterward uh, for iOS for a dollar, and then after that possibly coming to PC and Mac for the same price, and maybe even Ouya if things go well in the future. So, I won't keep us waiting too long on the title screen here. Let's start it out, I'll explain some of the conventions. This game's not particularly complex, but it is definitely uh, very accessible and fun, uh, light-hearted, and just generally enjoyable to play, and you know how much I like to do that occasionally, just play something just fun. You know, I mean, not every game has to be super deep and, uh, you know, emotional. And in this case, all we're going to be doing is throwing physics-powered axes towards some barrels, uh, which have a timer that counts down, as you can see, from 3 to 1. See what I did there? Uh, and then, if you actually hit it with the wrong part of the axe, you won't get credit. And also, these birds will show up occasionally, and you can spike them pretty hard with your axes there. So all I'm doing to throw is just a click and a hold, and generally you want to click and hold between each throw to get the maximum power going. Uh, the longer you can keep a chain going, the better you'll be and the higher your score and combo counter will get, uh, obviously resulting in a better score and more uh, unlockable currency stuff. Oh, uh, barrel got in the way there. You'll see I do have uh, coins accruing in the top left corner, which we can then later spend on unlockables. Uh, you know, costume accessories type things, and then also new areas as well. Uh, I haven't actually played around with that very much yet. So far, all I've done is just play a couple of test runs just to get things set up. And I have to say, even uh, from the very beginning when I got to try this early on in development, I found this to be very fun and just really easy to get hooked on. I mean, I guess I have a little bit of a, you know, penchant for that kind of thing. I sometimes will get hooked on a game that's uh, a bit on the addictive side, and, you know, this is no exception. Whoa, get out of my way! Alright, well, got a little bit screwed by those barrels appearing in front of each other there, but that's nobody's fault since they are randomized. Uh, so that'll be our serious run. Let's do a little bit of a goofy run, though, because the fun thing about... Th Whoa! Oh, I haven't seen that before. Fast bird, I missed that one completely. So if we want, we can actually spam axes really, really fast, although you'll probably just end up sabotaging your own run if you do that. Uh, essentially, what you can do is you can shoot out axes like a sprinkler, and provided you do it well enough, you may end up actually keeping your combo going longer than you intended, although it can also backfire pretty quickly uh, when stuff like that happens, because the axes will just keep piling into each other and create a ridiculous, like, physics-powered contraption the likes of which the world has never seen. Alright, so the the birds aren't maybe the best rendered when you hit them with the axe, they just sort of flop down. But that's also kind of goofy, and maybe we don't want to get too serious or violent, so I kind of respect that too. Um, the art and the graphics generally very well done. The physics are also very well done. I find it's very uh, satisfying with the sound effect and everything. When the axe nails that barrel, it feels good. Like, the sense of weight is there. And although I'm kind of screwing up on this run, hopefully you get what I'm saying. Uh, it's just as fun to spam axes as it is to actually try and do it seriously and go for the high score, although kind of poorly there. They seem to shoot out at a bit of a random angle sometimes, so you can't always count on the axe hitting where you expect it to. But it is kind of a nice wild card knowing that if the handle happens to wing something, you're not going to get credit for it. You know, as random as it is, it also does make it a little bit more fun. Because otherwise it might be a little too easy. You know, if this was uh, a ninja standing in the center and we were just throwing out shuriken at the barrels, I imagine we would probably not have very much trouble clicking on all the barrels uh, whenever we needed to hit them. So, that is really where the charm in this game lies. The feeling, the physics, the impact, the sense of, you know, all the sound effects working together. Uh, the art style, very attractive in general. It's a nice kind of tranquil outside wilderness area big open plane with a nice cloud going by in the background. I really like the fact that it resets the timer on the barrel. I think that was really smart to do. Whoa, that <laughs> barrel landed on the bird that was flying by underneath. Let's see if I can maybe get one of those red birds to fly through again, because I'd like to get credit for one of them if possible. 
Now, we are accruing a pretty nice number of unlockable coins, which I will show you what those can be used for in just a moment. Um, presuming I'm... Whoa, a little axe pile there. Presuming I'm not going to last particularly long. Uh, my best run... I think I ended up getting... What was it, like 6,000? I think it said it right on the title screen. Already forgotten. But I'm definitely a sucker for, like, leaderboard-driven addicting and simple to play games, and I think this is perfectly suited for something like iOS. Um, I'm absolutely certain I'm going to be picking up a copy of this and probably playing quite a few hours in my downtime. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see, it's gonna start picking up in speed pretty soon. Uh, there is usually a point when I start to notice the barrels pop in faster than I can usually keep track of them. And especially if you get a particularly bad couple of throws in a row, or the barrels start to overlap on top of each other, uh, you could be in trouble there. Because if you think about it, your axes are always going to come from the same position, right? So if you get multiple barrels in front of each other, and the first one is further away, it's blocking it. So you actually have to hit the one in front of it before you can get the one behind it, which usually, you know, in three seconds, you don't have a lot of time to do anything about that. Uh, and the timers are actually also starting at two occasionally, I've just noticed. Gonna get that bird. Oh, bad throw. Hit them with the axe handle every single time. Whatever. Alright, well, I guess I failed on that. Uh, so let's open up the second area, the fields, and see what's different about that. Uh, as well as see some of these items we can unlock. Because there's a nice, nice pile of them here, actually. So there's armor which is 6,500, and there's a wolf mask for 125,000. My goodness, that is a lot of currency you need to accrue there. So let's unlock the sleeper. Um, actually, no, let's unlock the horned helm, because I think that's going to be more fitting. <clears throat> oh, there's a mustache, too. All right, I don't want to get too carried away, otherwise I'm not going to be able to unlock the third area in this. I'm not sure if that is even something you guys care to see me do, but I will... Whoa, I will try. Got lanterns flying through the air? This is gonna be tough. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to hit a lot of these. I'm trying, though. Well, it's good that there's some varying challenges, and I assume you get more credit for the harder-to-hit items. Having them come in in an arc like that is definitely harder than just hitting the barrels, which are essentially just standing still. As I'm sure you already noticed. Whoa, hey, that should have counted. Sometimes you feel like you get a little slighted by the spinning axe, but at the same time, you know, what are you going to do about it? <clears throat> I guess you could possibly have it be like, hold right-click to make the axe spin faster or something, maybe is an option. I don't know if that's really necessary, but regardless, I think the balance works nicely the way it is. There's, There can always be tweaks, though. Um, I, for one, would love to see even more variations. I'm not sure what the third area is going to be. Whoa, I'm not going to hit one of those guys. <clears throat> but it would be pretty satisfying if there were some other, like, mini-games to help you earn currency, and, uh, you know, by extension, then, resulting in larger amounts of things you can unlock. Because I am a huge sucker for unlockables. I kind of want to go nuts and throw axes everywhere again, because that is also really fun. Especially when they just happen to land in the right spot, and you get credit for it. Everybody likes that. Except for maybe not the developer, I don't know. No, he probably likes it too. Hey, hey! I can't believe you made it through that. It's that one too! Those birds are crazy. I really like piling up all the axes on the ground too. Like, the fact that they're all physics powered and they all stay on the screen is really a neat touch. You can just go nuts on a barrel if you feel like it. Oh, that bird just got absolutely destroyed. And <laughs> then they go careening through all the axes laying in the ground. Looks like we've gotten quite a few uh, points this time, currency-wise. I like that. Oh, oh, hi, lantern there. What are you doing? I think I still got credit for it, though, although I'm not sure why. Over there, and over there. I'm glad there's not, like, a strict three axe per throw limit or something. Like, maybe you have to have a cooldown. That would be kind of frustrating. Although I could see from a balancing perspective, it's not a terrible idea either. So you gotta actually hit the lanterns before the light goes out. Which doesn't give you a whole lot of time. All oh, those birds are insane! I can't believe they keep getting through. 
Oh, there we go. I love too when the a the axes all line up on the same side, and you can see the weight pulling in different directions. It's a, a very cool touch. I mean, I know that's just how physics stuff works, but still. <laughs> Fat bird. There we go. I kind of feel a little bad hitting the birds with axes. I mean, they're just trying to fly past. It's like your, your UFOs from Space Invaders or something, and the birds don't seem too bothered by it. They're just stuck in place, but they're still flapping away. Maybe this isn't the worst thing that'll happen to them today. Who knows? I think in another play or two, I should be able to unlock the next area. Hey, that one... Oh my goodness, I can't believe how many times that red bird has gotten by me. That's my goal for this episode, is to hit one of those freaking red birds. Wow, I almost couldn't even get that barrel. I was expecting this episode to be about three to five minutes long, but I have a feeling it's probably gonna have a little bit more staying power than that. This is a really good type of game as far as, uh, you know, a quick pick-up-and-play type of thing goes. Like, it's really perfectly suited for iOS, if only just because you can play it for just a few minutes at a time uh, and not really feel like you're missing anything if you need to stop. You know, your progress is largely determined by how much you want to play it. And the fact that the presentation is so nice as well, I mean, there's really no downside to it. Whoa, that came out of nowhere. Hit it! Oh, I reset it. There we go. I could see this getting remarkably competitive, too. Like, if you had two people both playing... Um, I don't want to say, like, directly against each other, but, like, if you had them both start a game at the same time. Or maybe you could see each other playing, like, on the side of your screen or something. I know that's not really practical, but, like, if the screen was split in half or something. Maybe you could have some kind of, like, Tetris-style penalties back and forth, like... If one guy gets a combo chain high enough, it's gonna throw extra barrels at the other guy. I don't know, just wacky ideas here. Oh my god, that bird! That bird is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Why can't I hit it? No! Yes! Oh, that's the best feeling in the world. Finally, red bird, you are mine. And it looks like we've got 3,600, 3,700 coins. So we should be able to easily unlock the third area for one more play. <clears throat> Unless I screw this up really badly, I should also... Well, no, I already have quite a high score. I'm pretty sure I've gotten about ten times my previous one. And now we're just going for bragging rights, I suppose. I feel like the difficulty curve should be picking up at this point. And it's nice that there's more optional objects, but I don't really feel like I'm in terrible danger of losing until I just sort of get complacent. Oh, it's great too that since my combo chain's going on to 67, that's what's giving me so much uh, unlockable currency bonus. So I guess that's how you might be able to get your hands on that crazy like, top-of-the-line cosmetic decal uh, unlock. And that's probably gonna be game unless... Oh, wow, I actually made it through that, huh? So when in doubt, spam it out. Yeah! I'll show you, Redbird. This is my town. Never thought throwing axes would be this fun. Never had issues with, like, lag or slowdown, really, either. I mean, a couple of times you might have noticed I've accidentally clicked the top of the window, which has resulted in uh, losing focus for a split second, but that's not the game's fault. That's my fault. Uh, you know, performance has been well done. In general, graphics, physics, all good. All top of the line. Oh, man, I didn't get that one. Alright, I kind of want to forfeit at this point, although I'm not going to. Oh no, I lost my chain, I didn't even notice. Alright, well I might as well forfeit then. Ah, oh, it gave me back more barrels. I just want to see what the last area is. When you throw too many axes above yourself, you're just gonna basically create a huge problem. But they all start to hit into each other and stick on each other. How many axes can I produce? 
Dude's an axe-throwing fiend. I feel bad doing this because I had such a nice record going, but at the same time, I get to move on. So look at this. Created a bit of a sticky situation because there's so many axes, I couldn't even move. I was throwing them into a pile on top of myself. Alright, so let's open up the carnival. <clears throat> we'll grab some kind of other item here. Let's grab a mustache. Because why not? I think we probably needed a mustache, really. And what else can we grab? Badge for 25. Sure, why not? Yeah, he's looking pretty pro right now. So let's go to the carnival, see what's here. Probably some barrels, right? And barrels that maybe count down a little faster than normal could be. Oh, we got balloons. These could be... Oh, okay. They're not that bad. They could be challenging, but at the same time, they're really not that much worse than the lanterns. In fact, they're probably easier than the lanterns. The harder thing is just the fact that these barrels don't seem to stay active for very long. Whoa. Red bird! Seriously, red bird is like my new arch nemesis for the day. Alright, I got you both. I got you the balloon and the bird in one shot. So balloons don't seem to give you a whole lot of points either, although it could be just because I'm so early on. Well, uh, I guess we've seen our conventions for all three of these areas now, so that looks pretty cool. Uh, definitely a game I recommend for just a buck. I can't see how you can go too wrong with it if you're a fan of addictive little physics-powered games like this. I'm definitely enjoying it. I think you will as well. It's funny. I mean, there's so little to it, but at the same time, it's like it really doesn't need anything more than that. It's just what it is, and that's all it needs to be. So that has been Amazing Pulse in a Thon. I know I kept that third round a little bit on the short side. Hopefully you guys don't mind, but I do want to encourage you to grab it yourself and give it a shot. Uh, and I will post the links for purchase once those are available, but at the time of this posting, they won't be just yet. So uh, unfortunately, no uh, like call-to-action links at the time of posting, but you know, check back in later. Uh, so that is going to be it for this one. Make sure you head on over to the website, which is www.indie-impressions.com. That way you can stay up on all the new videos in the series. You can sort them by distribution method and platform. You can sort them by developer. Uh, if you use the search tag, you can also sort them by genre. So whatever you want to look for, uh, that website has you covered. You can browse the games in a number of different ways, as well as check out our forums and meet some other like-minded individuals. I'm sorry, I had to use it. Uh, when you're done with the website, though, facebook.com slash indieimpressions, if you'd like to leave a like on that, you will get every day's new video delivered into your Facebook stream to make it nice and convenient for you so you don't have to go looking for them. I also do the occasional news update and contest there as well, so, you know, feel free to join in, join the community, say hey, be happy to have you over there, and it does help me out a little bit if you do leave that like, but that is entirely up to you. Uh, lastly, if you're a developer and you'd like to get in contact with me about the possibility of showing off your game on the show, quickest way to reach me is to send me an email at the contact form, which is right on the website I mentioned earlier, and of course links to all my social media is right in the description, are in my description. Um, and, but yeah, aside from uh, just uh, that contact form, I also have the at Rockley Smile on Twitter. If you'd like to say hey over there, feel free to follow me. I have a lot of tweeting to do, so I'm sure you'll uh, have some interesting things to read and some perhaps funny jokes, who knows. I can be funny on occasion. I don't do it too often, but when I do it, I try to make it count. But that is it for another episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow for yet another. We are almost to a year mark, and with your support, we will have a really awesome event coming up for that. So please do stick around, and I hope you have a lovely night, and I will see you again tomorrow.